Hello Rebel and welcome back to my life. So doing VEDA has made me do a lot of thinking and sometimes regretting of some of my life choices. But in particular, it's made me think really hard about YouTube. Like, what is this website exactly? I have this weird relationship with YouTube. Like, I capital L love certain vlogs to death, but then sometimes I will stop watching them for a while. Meanwhile, I only kind of enjoy video game streams and replays, but I always watch the ones I'm subscribed to. And the only non-video game stream that I watch religiously every single time is the Vlogbrothers. It's not because I think they're the best vloggers. In fact, I don't know why it is that I always watch them every single time. I mean, they were the first channel that I started watching on YouTube, so they were kind of like my introduction to YouTube culture. After that, I discovered my other favorites like Hannah Hart and Michael Aranda and Gunnarola, all of whom I really like, but sometimes I just don't watch their new videos. There's a couple of reasons I can think of that might contribute to why I always watch John and Hank. First is that they were the first ones that I started watching, and so they became like my standard. Second is because I'm a really huge fan of the stuff that they do outside of YouTube. I love John's books and all of Hank's entrepreneurial type stuff, which are two things that I don't see from any other YouTubers. I mean, they're probably out there, I just don't know of them. Feel free to recommend in the comments. But there's another reason that I think has more to do with it, at least it feels more right for me. And I think that on their end, it might have something to do with why they have been so consistent for the last 10 years they've been doing YouTube. Consistent in terms of their publishing schedule and their quality. It's because they're talking to each other. Now, yes, I realize that sometimes, maybe most times, they're really talking to us, the people watching, to Nerdfighteria. But boy, if they don't do a good job of keeping up the conceit of their channel that they are just having a conversation back and forth to each other via video, and that is really interesting to watch. Sometimes it means that a single topic will be dealt with over multiple videos as they reply to each other back and forth about it. Other times they do something completely non sequitur that doesn't have anything to do with the last video, either to bring up a new topic or a new piece of news or to do something random and funny. But that is something you do in conversation with somebody. You jump off on tangents about something that you just thought of or you stop to do something cool to entertain them. And that's the key. It really is a conversation between the two of them, and it just happens to have millions of people eavesdropping. John and Hank themselves, as well as other big YouTubers, talk about how their favorite part of YouTube is conversation with their audience. And sometimes, yes, you can see that they are addressing something that their audience brought up or that their audience wants them to talk about. And I guess I feel like I don't necessarily have that. I feel like I'm always trying to bring you, Rebel, something new and crazy and weird. And when I'm not trying to just entertain you, I feel like I'm trying to motivate you. But both of those things make me something, someone for you to look at rather than someone to talk with. I don't feel like I'm part of a conversation in these videos that I make. I feel like there's lots of great conversations that happen in the comments. And thank you for that. Seriously, every single person who has ever commented on one of my videos, except the trolls. But those conversations never really translate to the camera and then your screen the way that I feel like it does on Vlogbrothers. And since I feel like I'm trying to entertain you and be new and weird and crazy for you, I sometimes feel like I run out of things to say. And I don't really know how to fix or just to change that. I don't really know how to start or maintain a conversation where I communicate to you via video and you can only really respond to me via text. But I guess I could maybe start by saying, if you do know, or if you do have some ideas, let me know in the comments. I would love to get to the point where we're closer to actually talking, when there is more conversation and more to talk about than can be fit into a four minute video twice a week. As opposed to sometimes some videos coming out that frankly just kind of feel like filler until something more interesting comes along. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today. Rebel, you can check out yesterday's VEDA video right up there or check out my Patreon and see my secret weekend videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!